All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Tuesday night live stream of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where, of course, today we are continuing on with our fire starter, Geralt, and about to actually continue on with the main quest line a little bit because, well, I don't have the money to do what I was hoping to do before that. I've been trying to get all the Grandmaster stuff, and we're closer. <laughs> we're closer, but I still need about... 7,000 gold before I can complete it. I wanted to get it all done before continuing on with the whole vampire part of the quest line, but ah, it's just going to take too darn long to get the remainder of that money. Uh, I did go, of course, off cam and do a lot of selling, making some stuff to sell, like making the new dyes, etc., which uh, turned out not to be as profitable as a venture as I hoped making dyes would be. I mean, it is if I find the, like, dye solvent or whatever it is, but if I buy it like I did, yeah, no, it basically breaks even, which is unfortunate and kind of annoying. <laughs> but, but, we're close. We're close for the, oh god, for the uh, final bit of armor that I need. Why did I go into quest? No, alchemy, and then one tab over to crafting. Final por portion I need is the chest armor. And I have one, one of the two plates that I need. And it's going to cost me about another three, maybe four grand to make that remaining plate. And then to actually have this crafted by the Grandmaster Smith dude cost another 4,000. So, um, yeah, yeah. And Joseph... May, why not do another quest? Maybe you could sell some of your stash to make some a few caps. How dare you suggest that I sell my relic swords? <laughs> I'm assuming that's what you mean, because that is the only thing I have in my stash, really. That's just... No, that's not happening. That's not happening. I love my relic swords. Besides, what the heck, I kind of want to know what's going on with Regis and all anyway, so let us... Oh, boy. And let's go and do that. And Jay, just so you know, there is a secondary quest you should complete before completing the main quest you get after the Cache of Foie. All right, well, we got this one now. And I don't know what that secondary quest might be, so it probably isn't going to happen. <laughs> let's be honest. Let's be honest. It, it probably won't, unfortunately. But who knows? Down into the crypt we go. Did I... Oh yeah, my bombs are re renewed. Good, good, good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Things have been repaired. I have 500 gold to my name right now, I believe. Hold on. 400 gold to my name. <laughs> hey, Regis, buddy. First off, still love the skeleton there wearing the helmet. Magnificent. Let's do this. Regis. Ah, there you are. Might we set off for Tesha Mudna now? We shall. Let us do this. Tesha Mutna. What's it like? It is a place of torment. Oh. A torture chamber. Oh. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. Well, that's this just gluttonous. trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. As they, they would. to hunt us. Seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? <laughs> in any case, okay. the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. Mm -hmm. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Ooh, Kagmar was captured fancy. and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Oh. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Okay. Well, I'm still thinking this is dangerous. I forgot we were doing the whole rage thing. But, oh boy. All right, Regis, if you're ready for this, let's go. Let's do this thing. I see no reason to dawdle. Tesham would not. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. Oh, what, what, what last thing? Uh, okay, drink something. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium. 
A solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You oh. crazy? You're a recovering addict. Yeah, it doesn't seem good. Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice. Why? As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're... You're starting to smell quite tasty. And you're starting to scare me. <laughs> oh, this is gonna go wrong. This is gonna go wrong? Oh well. Hopefully it'll be fun at least. <laughs> the fun kind of wrong. Wait, isn't this... No, different castle. Different castle. I was about to say, wasn't this the one that we... Fought all those people in multiple times and committed lots of war crimes? Really doesn't narrow it down for me. <laughs> but no, different castle. Different castle. Just the tower looked similar. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Right. Got it. Sure about this, buddy? Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. Yeah, I'd prefer not to have to hurt you. All right, lead the way. You lead. <laughs> I have my glorious Igni. Ooh, dead man. So we aren't the only one here, eh? Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. I know, exciting, isn't it? To open it. Oh, I was about to say, am I going to have to, you know, pop that open with a sign? And Joseph, do I have superior vampire oil? I know I have vampire oil. I don't know which one. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms. The vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our well into this one opened upon this land and no other. This mm -hmm. was the first place we saw. Oh, cool. All right, champion of Tesha Mutna. I am he who serves the tribe, exalted above men. I renounce human weakness, uplifted above men. I become keeper of my flock. Filled with strength, I turn my sword against the enemies of the tribe. I am master and slave. I am executor of the will of the tribe. I accept this sword and this armor so I may serve the tribe. Ooh, that's going on a rack at home. <laughs> this place, there's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. Quite literally. Many beings have breathed their last here. Let's try not to fall into the void here. Oh, oh God, as I trip, I tripped. Oh, lots of good loot along the way. This is nice. Oh, more of the Tesh and Mutna stuff. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that is all going on an armor rack back home. <laughs> Cells. Who for? Ah, disgraceful. Excruciating me so this particular page from my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. I mean, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Alright. And train, good evening to you too. Ah, I assume this is the cage. Hmm. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Oh. Thus, they also kept humans here. 
humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those those humans slowly bled to death. Well, that just seems weird. Like livestock, live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time, deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. That is all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. Mm -hmm. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The Zen will spread most effectively then. Oh. Oh. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, sent shivers. It was the natural order of things. Uh -huh. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Oh, great. Great. Why are we wanting monsters? Why are we placing bait for them? I thought we just needed you to, like, rage and just needed blood. Oh, he's gone, missed form. Oh, boy. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Ooh, hello. This is gonna go bad. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? It won't let me place the bait. We gotta do something with this red. What's, what's, what's with the red? Do I gotta burn this? Break it all? What's... Yes, break. Lovely. Also, let's quickly just go check in my inventory real quick. So first off... Oh, sweet. We did get all of it. Nice. That is definitely going on the armor rack when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> and the sword, it's all relic. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wait, did it also say a mask somewhere? Hold on, why is that not, not in here? I guess we don't really have a mask slot, do we? Where would that have gone? Ah ha ha! Huh. How do you wear it then? I mean, it's got stats. Killing opponents restores vitality. The amount of vitality restored equals 1% of the maximum vitality for each element of the set worn. Currently, the amount is zero. Huh. Where would you put this? Oh! Oh! It goes down there. Weird. Why is it in the pocket slot? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna put this back. That's what was there, right? I don't know. Cause I mean, oh, it actually is pretty good armor, honestly. Wow, that I. Well, no, that's lower. That's lower. So the torso is better, but everything else is a meh. Steel sword. We're gonna be fighting not things with. That needs steel. We need silver. So, meh. Holy crap. Look at the value. Oh, but it's going to go on a rack. It's got to go on a rack. It's our first set of relic armor. <laughs> I can't be sold. Oh, God. Selling this would probably allow me to buy this. Oh, no. Well, let's get the oil I need on here. <laughs> I'm assuming. Nope. Not you. Not you. Where's the oil? Doop. Oh, thank God. There we enhanced. Oh, yay. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Well, let's. Oh, boy. I'm worried about what all is about to go down. But okay. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Place this bait. Three done. One left. Think this will work? I certainly hope so. I mean, stench is so thick. I wager it carries a clear to no blood. Mm-hmm. Well, Igni. All right. And Jay, it would be nice to have combined oils. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, boy. Am I ready to fight, though? I mean, I know it's uh, it's telling me to tell Regis if, when I'm ready, but I don't know if I am. All right, Regis. <laughs> Bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist. Good. Kinda thought you wouldn't want to. I shall be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. Got it. Oh, poor Regis. I like you. I don't want to do this to you. 
Plus, I also fear what's about to happen to me. <laughs> we must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent of my head. I started spinning. Okay, 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 he's locked. Someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. So how are we going to stop the rage? I know we talked about how to get him into the rage. How are we meant to stop it? <laughs> Maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I uttered it? Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Please. Oh, God, he's one of We must force through this. That is all. There we go. There we go. Also, I... Oh, that's a raw faint. I selected vampire oil, thinking, oh, it'd be vampires we'd be fighting. Nope, necrophages. Smell the blood. Ooh, also wrong thing, but okay, there we go. I meant to eat just the food. Wow, I missed. Oh god, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, they explode. Oh Jesus. I should overcome. Let's Good. hope you do, friends. I can hear more coming. All right, roll around, roll around. Let's get him in a good group for a good bomb and then an igni. Hey, yo! <laughs> Everyone gets fire. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, it really worked well. A lot of them are on fire. Magnificent. Well, that was a lot of ghouls and other necrophages. Hold on. Not so much now. Do we want to get him out? Oh, hi! Oh, he doesn't look good. Oh, he scared them away. Holy crap. Are we sure we should be... Oh, boy. I don't know if we want to let him out. Hi, friend. Ah, I was I was about to say, why are we doing this again? Oh yeah, we needed his blood for the potion thingy. Uh, a little longer. Blood will dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother you anymore. Oh, poor Regis. And we just meditate through it all. <laughs> Get you out of here. Yeah, you definitely look a bit worse for wear there. Wait, no, no, no! I gotta loot first. Loot before we help him. Oh no! I can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. Joseph, the Grandmaster Wolf Set will let you apply up to three oils at once. Oh, nice! It's very r rarely of any use, even for an alchemy heavy build. Yeah, that's true. But I mean. That actually would have been useful in that fight, because we did actually encounter vampires and necrophages. Any better. But neat. Cool to know that. Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. Yeah, let's talk, buddy. Let's talk. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found dead laugh some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The Seems a bit extreme. I owe debt laugh. If I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang it, Regis. Dang it. All right, I finished your brew. Resonance. It's ready. 
Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact. I mean, let's hope. Precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Yeah, we're a rich. We're a witcher. Very well. In that case, let's begin. All right. Okay, so what are we going to do with this concoction now? Hmm. Oh, so we already took it. Okay, I was about to say, I thought we were going to, like, grab that bottle there and, you know, chug it down. Apparently we already did in the interim cutscene. <laughs> Oh, hey! Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But, Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down, or you shall regret it. Uh, Good man. Uh, fails to realize he was your friend, Count. Yeah, that's pretty obvious with his giant claws. <laughs> Not really hiding that well, is he? Okay. So now after getting his shoes shined, having a drink. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? Well, so we've befriended a count, apparently. Well, Detloff did. We're seeing it through Detloff's eyes, though. Kind of. Third person. Mother <laughs> insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? Mm-hmm. Why buy the mill? Is that a moth brooch he has on there? But at least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? Aww, Deadloff, he was kind to you. That's just rude. Okay. Oh, so that's what happened with the hand. Interesting. Oh, Wake we're lights. alive. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd departed. <sighs> uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems Deadlaugh had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse, and he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Deadlaugh I know. See anything else? Yeah, that was a lot to take in. He, uh, I'm wondering if something is controlling him then, or if me. I don't. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, saw the moment when Detloff and Delacroix first met. They were getting on splendidly, and then Detloff just. Hmm. Hmm. Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detloff. 
Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detloff. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? Well, yes. The boot black. There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Dedlau first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Dedlauf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. You we might want to take a seat. It's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. Yeah, probably That's for the best, fair. friend. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. I'm more intrigued as to Detloff and his predicament now. Hmm. Hey! Level 45! Oh my god, I forgot we haven't been spending our points. Once once I got all the things I wanted out of my... <laughs> out of my build, I stopped spending points. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, we got some new quest here. New marker, Beauclair Port. Neat. <coughs> Jagged Delacroix's mill first. Where was that? Might as well, might as well. Let's go check that out. Oh, God, move through, move through. A little bit cheaty doing something that I probably wouldn't have gone to, but eh, what the hell. <laughs> Where was that? Uh, wasn't it? Hmm. I don't remember where that was. So that was the one we uh, were at long ago, right? Hmm. Was it maybe on a thing? No, those are the bridges. Haven't been up that way. For the life of me, I don't remember where it is. Because we have been there once before, yeah? Marsh south of Corvo Bianco. Ah, so like this thing, I assume. Let's go there. Oh, yeah, we're in fast travel, fast travel. <laughs> That's why we came here. Ah, uh, up, up, up. Okay, well, let's go check that out. See what's what there. All right, we got another level. Yay. Not that they really matter too much for us anymore, but yeah. Why are my ankles in the mud? I am knee deep in, in the road. Well, there I go. I'm back. <laughs> oh. Hold on a moment. What the hell? My horse button isn't working. Uh, why is my horse whistle not working? Okay, okay. Well, Roach should be over here anyways, but that's weird that my horse whistle it wasn't working. The hell? Roach? Are you mad at me? Also, you. Just sleeping in Roach's stable. That is just rude, sir. That is just rude. This is his home. Or her home, rather. All right, well, this way we go. Pardon me, folks. Yep, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on exactly? I don't know. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. I've made things worse. <laughs> Why can't we seem to get over this? That. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something's real broke there. Uh, all right, all right. Can we go around it? Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Magnificent. 
Oh, hi, folks! Oh, peasants that need explosives. Uh, there we go. There we go. Kill them all while they burn. <laughs> and... Uh, there we go. They're on fire again. Oop. Take that, peasants! How dare you block with a pitchfork? Well, you're dead now. Alright, Roach, you can stop. Oh, new uh, quest. Amidst the mills. Grist. Use your Witcher Sense to search the milk for clues. Considering the mill was in our flash memory thing there, you'd think this actually would have just given us this quest in the first place to go check it out. I mean, I know that's not a part of it, but let's go look over here in that building for any potential loot. Oh. Mill for sale! A notice. Oh. <laughs> and the quarrel was out to sell the mill oh, okay. and adjoining lands. Mm-hmm. So hereby certify that the mill registered under the number 247 belongs to Count Louis de la Croix, and that the owner has fulfilled all formalities in preparing the property for sale. The building is unencumbered by mortgage or any other type of encumbrance or debt. In accordance with the agreement, blah, 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 staff shall retain their employment unless they otherwise so wish. In the event of voluntary termination of employment, staff are required to submit a written statement confirming their decision. Oh, can I not buy it? Oh, I don't think I can. All right, search the place beyond all the corpses. All right, Roach found a spot. <laughs> Ooh, hello. A note stuck in with a knife on a part of the building that that probably wouldn't have worked well on. <laughs> this is this does seem to be a whole stone building. Uh, stabbing a knife into that doesn't um, seem good. I mean, I guess this is stone with, uh, stucco over it, but still. But still. Oh, hey, the mill for sale that we literally just grabbed. Cool. Let's read it again, just in case. <laughs> this is the one that triggers it. Alright, now we have two notices for sale. Oh, no. Well, first... Oh, come on, get the loot. There we are. Alright. upstairs. No peasant's boots made these. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Another mill for sale thing. Jesus, the whole place is just spattered with for sale flyers. Alright, grab that. And then up the stairs, I would assume. Yep, I see the red poking through the floor. Uh -huh. Blood. Lots of it. Not all human, either. So this is where Dedloff lost his hand. Yep. And where he quartered Delacroix. Definitely the scene of the crime. Not likely to learn much else here, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that was it. That was literally it just to... Okay. Weird. I'm assuming this is another for sale thing. Oh, no. Orders for flour. Don't care. <laughs> All right, I saw another thing here. Beautiful, more junk. Hmm. And Jay, if only you could negotiate getting this mill in a contract. I know. Then we could have a mill over by our vineyard. We could, you know, start having a little business empire here in Tucson. It'd be great. We could even buy the cockatrice in. That'd be magnificent. But no, you only get Corvo Bianca. <laughs> All right, well, that was an interesting side quest of um, small proportion. All right, let's actually go to the fast travel point. And let's go talk to this kid. All right, so down here by Beauclair Port. Let's go find this shoe shine and see what in the heck he's got to say about... The vampire man, he shines the shoes off. Hmm. Alright, pardon me, folks. Don't mind me coming through. 
Ugh, I gotta find the kid. Oh, right here. Whatever's the problem? Oh, when they're trying to shake him down for money or something. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots. Go to you to get them cleaned. Smart kid. Smart kid. Theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Witcher. Yeah. A witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. After we tan his hide. So stand down. Might have to kill not a fool. Gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to fist fight. Let's Crap, dance. it is a fist fight. I hate these. Let me burn them. Let me burn them. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. And, oh, God, I gotta do this. Just let me burn a fool. One good Igni and they'll all back off. Oh, God, I can't see now. Oh, God. I mean, thankfully, thankfully, I had that potion. So, I mean, I'm regening right now, which is great, but... Taking on three freaking people. Alright, gotta take out this fool. Oh, God. Roll out. Roll out. Alright, the one that's injured is in the back. Get to him. Get to him. There we go. One down. One down. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Seriously, just let me igni them. Got him! <laughs> there we go. Well, that worked out. Still, though, what simple like me would have worked. This? The brawl. Who started it? I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Hmm. You know what? Had a misunderstanding. Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out, though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. Aw, oh, I tried you to help. It us. didn't work. <laughs> Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Come on. Oh, I tried to be a good a good guy. You know, be like, ah. But, oh well. You're very good with your fists, sir. Not really, kid. Wouldn't Not really. Be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. <laughs> would we? <laughs> really, kid? Really? Yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. Mm. And as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. <laughs> They were right to want to box your ears. I like this kid. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, I need to ask you about Detloff. Good kid, though. Good kid. <laughs> Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. Yeah, sure, my boots could do my shining. My boots are clean. In this city... No boots are clean unless they just come off my stand. A seat, sir, please. Kid's actually got a pretty decent little stand there. The nice chairs, got a little candle going, the nice drapery. Where the hell did you get all this, kid? <laughs> so then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. 
A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. Damn it, kid. How much? <laughs> Let's say 500 crowns. Ooh, what? Don't have You're that. Are kidding me? <laughs> what would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Damn, kids thought it out. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Kid, I'd love, I'd love to help you out. I'd love to help you out, but we're gonna have to negotiate here. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can't figure something out. Oh my god, do I actually have the five hundred coin? We did loot some stuff back in the the dungeon. You know what? I like this kid. I like this kid. What the hell? Ah, see? <laughs> I knew. I had it. Sure. I'm all right. Oh, crap. So I didn't. I figured with it saying we could have the 500 there that we had that money. Well, I don't like that it's either I'll pay or I'm not about to pay. Why not a, I'll be back? Hmm. And Jay, I didn't see your comment until we were already talking. Remember, we're in a delay here. <laughs> until I'd already run up to it is when I saw your comment. Uh, yeah, that annoys me, though, that I don't have a I'll be back option here. It's forcing me into this, which I don't like in the slightest. Just one problem. Don't have the coin. See if I can't get some, then come back. Oh, thank God. So patiently await your return. Oh, thank God. Okay, I was worried if we said that kid be like, well, you're bone then. <laughs> All right, well, up we go. Where the hell? I mm, here the thing. Ugh. Oh, well, first off, we actually need to head home real quick. I've got a cool set of armor to put on an armor stand. So I don't also don't accidentally sell that because damn I want that on my collection. <laughs> Despite it would be better for me to sell it. <laughs> uh I like that kid though. It's a good kid. Good kid. He's got his whole whole plan sorted out there. Alright. Well, yeah, let's go into here. I should have a free armor stand. Iggy. All right. Yep. And yep. And yep. And yep. Perfect. I wish I could put the mask there. That is unfortunate that I can't, but that armor looks amazing. Ooh, do I not have like a free sword slot? Oh, I do. Ha ha ha. Wonderful. Beautiful. Sweet. All right, let's put the mask into, you know, I actually probably just keep that in my inventory, frankly, but. Yep, I can't even move it. It's stuck there forever. <laughs> it's a quest item. What? How is it a quest item? <laughs> uh, hey, we actually have a magic sword in here I could sell. Did we keep this for some reason? It's named... I know I kept... Oh, no, this was our original sword. You know, let's sell these. They're not relics. Why the hell am I keeping this? <laughs> I've only been collecting relics in here. Yeah, this too. I don't, I don't need it. I've never worn it, and it's not relic. So who cares? And yeah, I've kept my original Witcher stuff because... Hey, Witcher stuff. Why do I have a poker in here? Ah, Witcher Steel Sword. That one, yep. We got. I've been, like I said, kept my original Witcher things. Got all my old heads in here, too. And, of course, my fine clothing. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go sell those things. Sweet. Also, I had a... Hold on a moment. And another rack for a weapon by the shield and the other sword on the wall. Hmm, the wreck for a weapon. 
when we have that. Then we got another armor rack right here. Oh, is this the thing right here? Oh, it is! Oh, look at that! Oh, okay, I didn't notice that. You know what? You know what? Yeah, and I'll put the armor there, too, because then they can be together. Yes, 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 yes. Take all. Haha, -ha, I don't know what I'll put there. Okay, and you, and you, and you. Perfect. And you. Magnificent. They are together as they should be. <laughs> Alright, let's go sell these, uh, these items I've got. Then return back to the kid, because you know what? Again, I like him. <laughs> He's got a plan. He's got a whole business plan going. Alright, over to the North Guardian Embassy. We'll go back to the Grand Master dude, because he has the most money, I think, of any store in this world. And then go back and talk to the kid. Yay. Yeah, I was really hoping, though, when we were doing the negotiation part, that since... That it would have, you know, stopped me at being able to take more or uh, pay more than I had. <laughs> but no. But no. Alright. Spec over this way. Yep. And... Hello, sir! Long time no see. Okay, yeah, what we got? We have an offer. And sell you, not really worth much, sadly, nor you. You a little bit more. There's the payment for the kid and the poker. Why do we have a poker? It's gone now. <laughs> got any like random junk we can sell? Yeah, sure. Like the silver ring, why not? Yeah. Nice necklace there too. Beautiful, beautiful. Pretty much everything else is a no-go. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. But, oh well. What are you going to do? Oh, nothing I can do there. No, nothing I can sell here either. Oh, I could sell some random ingredients. But, no. I may need them someday for something. Hmm. Any that I have a particularly large quantity of that I don't care about? Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I mean the thread, but that's just not really worth much. Alright, let's go pay the kid. <laughs> well, bye bye Farewell. Good luck on the path. Alright, so... Uh, take a bit to walk all the way down there, wouldn't it? Yep, 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 yep. Alright, back to the North Guardian Embassy. And over here. Pardon me, folks. Coming through. Don't mind the Witcher. Alright, I wonder if the kid with his cash is gonna keep his shop there, or, you know, try and be up here. Get the, the nicer money up this way. <laughs> Alright, down we go. Beauclair Airport. Hmm... Oh, and you were talking about another shield. Oh, was there another weapon rack over there? Hmm. Oh, well. We got it where I wanted it. Now. <laughs> All right, kid. Oh, pr oh, my God. Priceless. We're definitely looking at that. <laughs> Cleaning services price list. Leather boot polish and shine. 20 crowns. That seems like a lot for a polish. Okay. Uh, without shine. Not recommended. 15 crowns. Single leather boot with shine for war veterans and other invalids and even for tightwads. 12 crowns. <laughs> love, that, love that little qualifier there. Cleaning knights girdles and other leather accessories. 30 crowns if boots are cleaned as well. And 20 crowns if boots are not cleaned. So it's worth having everything cleaned. Special offer metal cleaning. Set of plate armor, 40 crowns, breastplate, 15, knee plates, 15, bassinet, 15. If you have something to be clean that is not on the price list, I can clean it. Price subject to agreement. Come a mess, leave well dressed, you'll see I'm the bleeding best. Oh my god, I love this kid more now. <laughs> you, child, I have your money. Well, Become the greatest shoe shine ever. Please, take a seat. Tell me, good sir, have you gathered the sum we spoke of? I 
have. Here, your coin. Put it to good use. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. Mm -hmm. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Oh. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Perhaps. I don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. That's fair. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, mm. you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort. Nice. And piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. Indeed. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. There's your vial. Good luck with your business, child. Good luck with your business. Okay. All right, follow Regis. Well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning the right thing to bribe them with. I mean, yeah. I mean, we did pay him 500 gold, Geralt. We're, we're throwing stones at glass houses here. <laughs> All right, what do we got? One the boot black mentioned. Oh, I'm supposed to do, okay. Oh, a toy shop, okay. That's a lot of ravens. Oh, a lot of them. Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Oh, I'm not good at you. finesse, though. <laughs> Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. well, that works okay. Nah, yeah, that works. When you can turn misform. Oh, those ravens, though. They're gonna nice. let him know. Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that would come in awful handy. You know, I really would. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. <laughs> Why was that rocking horse in the background rocking? That seems unnerving. A lot of ravens. It's still a rocking. Worrisome. Also creepy as balls in here. Okay. Be here. Sense him. No, he's not here. But he was here recently. His scent is still strong. What's with all the freaking puppets Let's hanging from around. the ceiling? And why is the rocking horse still rocking? All right. Search with the Witcher sense. Oh, hello. Well, I can loot all these things. <laughs> Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A lot of toys we could steal. Don't care about any of them, though. Uh, what do we got? Alright, that'll steal, though. <laughs> <laughs> Chest, sure. Chest and bag, mm -hmm. sure. Somebody fixed this recently. Oh. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Oh. These puppets rather disturbing. I know, right? They are. Nice little trinket. 
Mm-hmm. Well, upstairs we go. For attic. Let's go. Oh, hey, more ravens. So this is his nest. Need oh. To look around. What's with the person there? Bandit dip. Regis, how dare you bump into me? Oh, dolls. Why did I pick him up? I just... The loot. It, it happened by, you know... Just... It's it's just my brain goes, okay, I had a loot. I had to loot. Tools were used recently. Detloff unwind by fixing toys between murders. <laughs> now, Geralt, must you? I must. All right, new music box. Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Hmm. Oh, we got a couple of other red things over here. Let's, you know, this one. Suspicious letter! Well, that was the Death thing. Of van der Heretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoid. <gasps> oh! We know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. Oh, he is being controlled! You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlav killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. All right. Any idea who? Any idea what it could be? Detlav have any enemies? Indeed. Detlav gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Mm-hmm. And who is this person? Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Oh, because her? Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Okay. Never, meet her. Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Hmm. What do you think happened? Take it you have your doubts. I know humans better than he does. Their capacity to be disloyal, hey. dishonest. I also know she took her things. Not something one associates with the kidnapped, or those who disappear against their will. I'll save you the trouble of asking. No, I don't know why she left. I can, however, hazard a guess that Detlaf grew angry one day, showed another, more monstrous side. Detlaf's anger could frighten anyone off, though most who see it get no chance to flee. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? Oh, of course. And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did he ever look for her? Dedloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. Fair. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks. Leave no way for him to find her. Mm-hmm. Now, well, looks like someone got to her. Even if Renoued did abandon or her Or she time, sent the like letter. Someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her. Get her back. Or again, she sent the letter. One of the two. Either he's kidnapped or the mastermind. Kill. That's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills oh, yeah. for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Oh, oh, we're still we're still on this, eh? Okay, well there was another thing over here. All right, the letters naming the beast targets. 
Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de La Croix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. All of it written using the same ink. Mm hmm. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Indeed. This slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. <laughs> Very true. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Also true? Hmm. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Indeed Just it does. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Alright. Sum up what we know. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detloff's innocence, clearly. You know, I would say true. I mean, he's being blackmailed. And that's, yeah. Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowet. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Got it. Think he'll listen? He will. I'll await with you, maybe. No. He'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Got it. Thank you, Reaches. I like you. I hope you don't die during this entire quest line. Well, I mean, higher vampire. That would be hard to do in the first place. But all right, and that is the place to... Oh my god, we got two levels today. Neat. That is where we're going to end for today. So in the next episode, we'll go report to the Duchess and yeah, see where things go from there. So hopefully all of you have enjoyed this one. And you do come back for the next one until that time. Thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.